Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, we are going to ease the heat a little bit in the classrooms for tomorrow and especially on Friday. So bottom line, cooler air on the way and eventually much needed rain. Now, take a look, take a look at live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar and what I'm tracking. Some isolated showers and thunderstorms. They are few and far between, essentially out in western Massachusetts, northwest Connecticut, tracking these off now to the north and west. So should not be a factor in our forecast for the early evening hours. However, later tonight towards daybreak, a better chance of a few showers popping up and then eventually a more generous rain is on the way. Live pitches Narragansett Town Beach with a mix of clouds and sunshine. Temperatures today along the coastline in the 80s. We are sunny in Providence looking at the uh, well, the highway bridge. Here's the wider view getting ready for a real pretty sunset. Now temperatures have slipped back after topping out in the upper 80s to low 90s. It's down to 82 Providence. Gloucester is at 85 still warm. Westerly 78 as well as New Bedford will be in the 70s most of the night. It will be warm and muggy tonight as the cool Cooler air arrives over the next couple of days. It'll be a slow process. Temps now range from the low 80s inland to the upper 70s from westerly along Route 1, Newport, and New Bedford coming in at 78. Here's what I'm tracking. A cold front marching across upstate New York right now with showers and thunderstorms. Now, the front will move in our direction over the next 24 hours, but as it approaches, it slows down. And what will happen is it will sort of stall on top of us and a storm system will form along the front and all of this will come together to act on the high humidity, help bring out the atmosphere of some much needed rain. So here's how it plays out. This evening at 7 o'clock, we're dry, warm and humid in the upper 70s. Increasing clouds overnight. Now a few showers developing after midnight and can't rule out a passing shower tomorrow morning. This is 7 a.m. It's a warm and muggy start. Readings in the upper 70s. I just, I just think the better chance of the showers and thunderstorms would come during the afternoon. Notice, and especially in our northern suburbs, this is around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Take note the red and yellow colors right in here. These are downpours and perhaps even some thunderstorms. And then it becomes more generous and widespread around this time tomorrow evening. That will coincide with the uh, Patriots game tomorrow night in Foxborough. So a nice evening, warm, humid, 11 o'clock, we're at 75, then after midnight, a couple of showers. Just a few showers in the morning, some early morning fog by 11 a.m., 81. Shower activity and thunderstorms becoming more generous and widespread in the afternoon as temperatures. I mean, it's still warm and humid, it's just not in the 90s, so it, it's slightly cooler. Seven-day future cast shows uh, the cool weather on Friday, daytime highs in the mid-70s. As we mentioned before, the, the Patriots game in Foxborough, uh, a widespread rain is likely with temperatures in the mid-70s. It is much cooler on Friday, daytime highs in the mid-70s. I think the best chance for showers on Friday would come during the morning, a little drier in the afternoon. That dry weather will extend into Saturday. They get ready for some showers returning on Sunday. Temps over the weekend, no 80s or 90s, but rather daytime highs in the mid-70s. So we'll take the edge off the heat tomorrow. You can download the Channel 12 weather app on your smartphones and on your tablets as well. So still warm and muggy tomorrow, just not hot. Maybe a collective sigh of relief from all the teachers and students out there who've been enduring it. Yeah, tough in the classroom. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, Tony, thanks.